Hey everyone, welcome again. Have you ever heard of the Squitsu? No? Well, I have. This is what happens when you allow a mad, sushi-loving, dog-loving Japanese scientist to play with DNA. To be exact, Shih Tzu and Squid DNA. Don't panic just yet, this scientist only lives in my head, but after thorough testing I found this hybrid safe to be released. It may look a bit odd, it's not one you can do sports with, although he is quicker than you may think. He just won't last long on those long colorful tentacles. It prefers to just slide over the floor, occasionally hopping inside his basin. He is as loving as any dog, sometimes even considered clingy. When you've been away for a while, like for example to brush your teeth, he will end up hanging from your ceiling right in front of your bathroom door, ready to drop down and wrap its tentacles around you as soon as you enter the hallway. Anyone owning a squid suit will know the true meaning of having too few arms to do what needs to be done. This cutesy has as many upsides as it has downsides. First, the upsides. He can live in nearly any environment. It's a popular pet for those who spend many time on the water. He's also very intelligent, something that's inherited from the squid DNA. It's easy to read his mood, although the coat doesn't change color. No, it hasn't been painted by a woman that's too old for such practices. Its tentacles and ears will. And, above all, it loves insects. We are not sure where that came from, as both dogs and squids don't usually have insects on their menu. But my assumption is that this scientist either accidentally introduced some other DNA, or just did it on purpose. I mean, who doesn't want a wall-climbing, colorful, insect-eating furball in his house? That being said, now the downsides. Mind his colors, or he will paint the wall for you. Make sure your floor and walls are waterproof and easy to clean. Of course, warn your family and friends for the permanent wet dog smell in your house.
Thanks again for watching. Let me know what you think. Would you want a squid 2 of your own? Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and of course leave a comment. See you next time.